Hello, and welcome back to LSW 24-7. I am Kia, and we are going to kick things off. Curtis Evans making his LSW in-ring debut here tonight and he will be taking on King Champy and Manhind. A lot of people are talking that this father-son duo are somewhat back together after a long, many year hiatus. But King Champ has wanted to reignite the evil in Manhind. And hopefully, he's gonna try to bring that dark side out the side of the bat. The King and Hind. King Champy wants to resurrect the bat hidden deep within Manhind. Under the mask, King Champy's father. The demon bat. Oh, isn't that nice? A nice father-son hug. And I'm being told that Charade is one of the people responsible for getting these two back on speaking terms. The one and Brutal Impact have tried to drive a wedge between a father and son for far too long. And look at this. Look at this teamwork. Two on one handicap match. We have a huge main event. We have a tables match for the LSW World Heavyweight Championship. Creeper Chris Michaels is going to finally challenge the Lethal Predator RD. And we will see who's going to walk out of here as the champion. So, this is interesting. Ooh, my, the damage is being done here, going for a pinfall attempt. What a victory this would be for Curtis Evans. For him to defeat King Champion Manhind. But he said he wanted a challenge. He went to Hawk Quinn and Claire and said he wanted a challenge here tonight. And a two on one handicap match, that is one difficult challenge. Well. Oh, Curtis Sevens getting the offense on King Champy there. Now the strikes to Mannheim. Wow. It's kind of nice to be doing commentary. Our last match we had, I was defeated by Mannheim. Champy going for a pinfall attempt. Oh, I thought that was a three for sure. Manhind on the outside, Curtis Sevens. Might be able to get an advantage to this. Champy's kind of defenseless. My oh my. 
This is quite interesting. Mannheim Dragon, Curtis Evans. How much more can his body handle? This could be it. Quite a lot of damage. And that's it. King Champion Mannheim have won this two-on-one handicap match. Wow. Well, it's good to see a father and son reunited. On to our main event. Congrats. The following contest is a tables match and is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Perfect. All right. Here comes Creeper. Sounds like he's got some new music. The new new music is always interesting. The Creeper. Lethal Syndicate member. Me and Creeper were former FBXW World Tag Team Champions. He's been AWP World Champion. He's been Tag Team Champion. And tonight he could add LSW Champion to his list of accolades in his wrestling career but he has to face against his friend the RD Here he comes. Man, that would be pretty cool to see an RDKO with a table. RD getting ready to defend his goal against Creeper Chris Michaels here tonight with the return of LSW 24-7. The fans are excited. People have been talking about this match all day. RD successfully defended that title last against Tim Terror. This is going to be an interesting contest, to say the least. And here we go. That's what it's all about. The LSW World Heavyweight Championship. And here we go. RD and Chris. Teammates. Friends. You're all members of the LS. But now, it's all about the gold. You have to put everything aside, friendship. Now, whoever can get a table first and put their opponent through it will be declared the world champion. And I know that there's a lot of people who want 
that LSW World Championship. A lot of people are watching. And I don't know who will be the world champion after tonight. Who's going to go on to defend the title in the future? Can RD keep his title reign intact? Or will Creeper walk out of here with the gold tonight? Nope. First attempt at grabbing a table. Creeper throwing it away. Probably thinks it's too early. He's not going to underestimate RD. He's just not. He's got to do a heck of a lot more damage if he wants to be crowned the new LSW world champion. Wow, the strength of Creeper. You know, he's probably working out a lot. Been preparing for this match. He's had a bit of time to prepare after our brief hiatus. But you know, a lot of things have changed. Uh, Charade is hanging out with um, the Royal Aces and um, Hot Quinn is hanging out with the one so there might be trouble in paradise between the one and charade I don't know we'll have to see where that goes and that might be it might be the advantage that Chris needs Wanting RD to get up. He wants to finish this. Into the corner. The creeper's trying to do as much damage to the RD as possible. And I know RD has been, hasn't been doing the greatest lately. He's been trying to get over that injury he had a couple of years ago. And you know, sometimes old injuries linger. Uh, sometimes you have to get things fixed surgically. But if you go into a match hurting, that's not good. You're unprepared, you're hurt, and you're not 100% to defend your title. You have to be. You have to be 100%. And you can't overstress your body because if you're training in the gym, you could just re-injure yourself just as easily. Creeper. And RD. Oh, RD knocked Creeper down. The table set up. This could be it. Getting it into place. The champion and the challenger. Oh my, this could be it. Creeper's got him. RD's gone through the table. We have a new LSW World Heavyweight Champion. Congratulations to Creeper, and I hope everyone enjoyed the return of LSW 24-7. See you next time. Kia signing off.